Hello everyone, um, welcome to the last lesson of the week and it is the end of our topic of time. So well done for making it, well done for all your amazing work. I've been so impressed with dedication um, and hard work you've put into this topic. I know it's not easy and it's been difficult and it's been quite long, um, but today we're going to have a quiz. Um, so that'll be quite fun. Um, and there's no sheets to complete at the end. We'll just do the quiz as we go along. They minimize me. Right, so today is the 12th of June 2020, and the NI is to complete a quiz on the topic of time. And you'll need a pencil, a ruler, and a piece of paper. So basically, just write your answers down. Um, so I am going to go straight to the quiz. I'm going to start with this one. So question one, so just write down um, um, A, B, see right down here, write down quiz one, question one, A, B or C. It's one question, sorry. Okay, so what is time? Is time A, a way of measuring how big a clock face is? Is time a way of measuring how long things take to do or how long things last? Or is time a number operation? So write A, B or C. Great. Next question. How many seconds are there in five minutes? How many seconds are there in five minutes? A, 30, B, 60, or C, 300? And so feel free that after I read out each question, just pause it, answer the question, and then play it when you're waiting for the next question, okay? Next question. How many minutes are there in a quarter of an hour? A, 10 minutes, B, 15 minutes, or C, 45 minutes? Next question. How many months are there in four years? A, 48 months, B, 36 months, or C, 12 months? Next question. A car left Manchester at 2.30 p.m. and arrived at Sheffield at 3.43 p.m. How long did the car journey last? Was it A, one hour and 23 minutes, B, one hour and 13 minutes, or C, 13 minutes? So you can pause the video, carry out your calculations, and then write your answer. That's absolutely fine. I'm not expecting you to answer questions as quickly as I'm reading the questions out. Um, so I want you to pause the video whenever you need to. Next question. Is 19.34 in the morning or the evening? So A, morning, B, evening, and C, neither morning nor the evening. Next question, what is 9.54 p.m. in digital time? What is 9.54 p.m. in digital time? And that is, I mean, what we're referring to is 24 hour clock. Is it A, 09.54, B, 19.54, or C, 21.54? So what is 9.54 p.m. in the 24 hour clock? Next question, what happens in a leap year? A, there are 29 days in February instead of 28. B, there are 27 days in February instead of 28. Or C, there's an extra month in the year. Next question, what is the main difference between digital and analog time? A, digital time means days are longer. B, analog, analog has more minutes in an hour. C, analog has two versions of time that uses the same number. Digital has one version of any time. So make sure you read to that and understand what each one means before you answer that question. And the final question for the first quiz is, what time is midnight in analog time? 12, so 1, 2, colon, 0, 0. 1, 2, colon, 0, 0, a.m. or 1, 2, colon, 0, 0, p.m. So once you've completed that quiz, it's time to move on to the second quiz, the last one. 
and it is here. Okay, ready? Question one. What is what time is shown on this clock? What time is shown on this clock? Question two. How long does it take you to eat your cereal in the morning? Five minutes or five hours? So choose one. Question three. If today is Friday, which it is, what day was it yesterday? And you've got a little person saying, woohoo, it's Friday. So what was the day yesterday? Question four. Write down a time using a.m. or p.m. and in a 24-hour time. For 7.30, time for supper, write down 7.30 using a.m. or p.m. Um, and in a 24-hour clock. How many weeks are there in a year? How many weeks are there in a year? Write down this date the long way. 24907. It's a tricky one, but just give it your best shot. Write down this the long way. So, the, so how will you write that in the long way? Long date. Question seven. How many days are there in January? Try to think of the, the, the poem that we went through yesterday. How many days are there in January? Question eight, write down noon in 24 hour time. How would you write down noon in 24 hour time? What time is shown on this watch? What time is shown on this watch? Next question, if today is Tuesday, what day was it four days ago? So if say, today was Tuesday, what day would it have been four days ago? Next question. How many hours have passed from the time on the first clock to the time on the second clock? How much time has passed from the time on the first clock to the time on the second clock? Lapsed time. Next question. If it is December, what month would it be in three months' time? If it is December, what month would it be in three months' time? Next question. What time is shown on this clock? What time is shown in this clock? I would like you to write it in the 12-hour clock format, please. What clock is shown? What time is shown on this clock? Question 14. How long is it from 8.05 to 8.45? So what is the elapsed time between 8.05 to 8.45? Next question. What is the seventh month of the year? What is the seventh month of the year? Next question. What season is shown in this picture? So try to remember the season that we, we spoke about yesterday and which season do you think is shown in this photograph here? Next question. Use the 24 hour clock, write down 4 p.m. So write down 4 p.m. in the 24 hour clock format. How many days are there in the year, or how many days were there, rather, in the year 2013? So remembering when I told you it was the last leap year, start working backwards, and how many days were there in the year 2013? Question 19. What is the 11th month of the year? What is the 11th month of the year? Next question, how many days does February have if it is a leap year? How many days does February have 
if it is a leap year. And your final question. What season could this be? The little chick and daffodils. Which season could this be here? And that is the end of your quiz. Now, obviously, I'm not expecting you to go through the quiz as quickly as I read the questions. Um, I wasn't going to pause as I would normally in class, but I expect you to pause the video and answer the questions like I have said. Um, and once you have all the answers written down for your two quizzes, then please take a picture of your answers and send them across to me at year three at grange.harrow.sch.uk. Can't wait to see um, your answers. I know you guys have done really well. If you get a few questions wrong, that's fine. If you're stuck on some questions, that's fine. That's what this quiz is all about, is to give you a challenge. Um, so I want to take this opportunity to say well done or all the hard work you've put in this topic. I know it's been a really long one. It's been five weeks, so we're looking at time. Um, but we start our next topic um, a new topic next week, topic of capacity, and we'll talk about in, talk in more detail about what that means. It's all in, under the umbrella of measurement, um, but instead of measuring time, measuring capacity. So um, I haven't got a challenge for you today because I think you've worked so hard as it is. And all I have to say is, have a wonderful weekend. Okay, I will see you next week with our new topic of capacity. Um, be safe. Relax, enjoy the weather, okay, and look after yourselves, and I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye.